Okay, so now that you have, you've had an introduction into the binary number system, we're going to talk a little bit about the hexadecimal num number system, which is a, just base 16. Um, and the reason we care about hexadecimal is because there's a very, very close relationship between binary uh, and hexadecimal, and so hexadecimal is used in, com uh, in computers a lot. Um, so let's imagine that these uh, are the placeholders that you, that you would see in a binary um, number. So obviously all the way on the right we have uh, the placeholder's value is 1, then a 2, then a 4, then an 8, then a 16. We keep doubling. This would end up being 256, uh, and we could keep on going, just doubling the value each time. Um, what I want to point out is that every four locations, every four locations, uh, the power in the rightmost location is a power of 16. Um, this is 16 to the 0. This is 16 to the 1. This is 16 to the 2. And if I had more room on the screen, I could show you that, uh, you know, the placeholder that would be right there would be 16 to the third power. Um, and this is just, I mean, you can see this mathematically. I mean, the idea is that you know, every time you move to the left one space, you're multiplying by 2, which means every time you move four spaces, you've multiplied by 16. So if you multiply by 16 over and over again, you're going to get powers of 16 every four spaces. This mathematical principle means that there is a kind of one-to-one -one correspondence between four binary digits and one hexadecimal digit. So these four binary digits can be replaced by a single hexadecimal digit. These binary digits can be replaced by a single hexadecimal digit. And these, and so on and so forth. I just said the same thing twice, too many times. So like, let's, let's imagine that we were to examine a number in base 16, right? The leftmost placeholder value would be a 1. The next placeholder value would be a 16. The next placeholder value would be 16 squared, which is 256. The next placeholder value would be 16 to the third, and so on, right? So you just have um, a sequence of numbers where the value based on the location is 1, then 16, then 256, and each of these are powers of 16. That's the way that uh, number systems work. Well, notice that that pattern exists in binary as well, 1, 16, 256, and so on. So this means that we can translate binary into base 16 really, really easily. But before we get into that, we have to talk about another problem, which is if you remember, uh, in base 10, there are 10 symbols for representing numbers, and in, ba in binary, base 2, there are two symbols for representing numbers. Um, and as you can imagine, in base 16, there must be 16 symbols for representing numbers. So what they do in base 16, especially when you're dealing with computers, is we just keep the same um, numbers. The first, you know, the first 10 digits are the same as decimal, right? So all these are going to be the same, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on down. And what they do is, in order to create uh, symbols for these last six digits, we just use the letters of the alphabet. So the value that we call 10 is expressed with an A in hexadecimal. The value we call 11 is expressed with a B in hexadecimal. And then you go and just do the alphabet. Okay. So the largest digit that you can have in hexadecimal is an F. Okay. And its value, F's value, is what we call 15. Um, again, notice that the idea is that in hexadecimal, which is base 16, there are 16 symbols. Okay? That's how number systems work. Um, so, if you wanted to express the value 13 in hexadecimal, you would just say D. Right? The letter D in hexadecimal represents the quantity we call 16. And the idea is that if you wanted to rep, I'm sorry, the quantity we call 13. Um, and if you wanted to represent the value that we call 16, so if this is, this is hex and this is decimal, 
this is base 10 over here. Um, the idea is how would I represent the number 16? Well, the idea is the same thing that we were talking about before. We've run out of room, so we create a new placeholder. This is how many 16s we have. And so the idea is we have one set of 16 and zero ones left over. So zero, I'm sorry, one zero in hex is the same as one six in decimal. So this right here is the quantity uh, that we call 16, right? This right here is the age in America when you can start driving, at least in most states. Um, yeah, that's the idea. Now the number, let's see. Um, now the number 31, at least the number that we call 31 in decimal, how would we express that? Well, we would need 116, right? And then how many more would we need? We'd need 15 more in order to get up to 31, right? So this location right here would require the number 15. How can I write the number 15 with a single digit? Well, in hex, 15 is the letter F, so this isn't a problem at all. So we just write an F in there. So the value of 31 is expressed with a 1F in hexadecimal. This is why when you're dealing with computers, you'll frequently see... Uh, the capital letters A, B, C, D, E, and F kind of interspersed with numbers when you see, you see like just kind of what looks like gibberish up on the screen. That's hexadecimal. Um, and the reason that hexadecimal is on the screen is because it's representing the actual ones and zeros uh, that are in code somewhere.